back to TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG. Today, we're live in Lakeland, Florida at the Sun and Fun Air Show. We're going to be doing a lot of live demonstrations, and actually, we're going to get some planes in here that have had some uh, failures or cracks, if you will. But one of our more popular machines is this machine that I'm going to demonstrate. It's called the Precision TIG 225. Now, the reason that I like it the most is because it's very easy to use. It's a very clean machine, very clean front, and I'm just going to go through a few of the functions with you. If you buy this machine, first thing you're going to ask is how to use it, how to set it up. So let's just start at the top of the machine. This is a TIG stick machine, and by pushing this button right here, you can either put it in the stick function or the TIG function. Now, this knob right here becomes very important when you're welding aluminum. If you happen to set it on the green, when you hear the term auto balance, this machine would do all the adjusting automatically for you. If you don't want it to do it automatically, I can actually increase this to more penetration or even less penetration. So that's the whole purpose of that button. Now, this knob right here, it's a pulser. Not that we're going to use it a lot, but there are some times you're going to want to use a pulse. But make sure that if you don't want it on, turn it all the way to the left because what will happen is if you have it barely turned on, it's going to pulse right in the middle of your weld, and it will be a very slow pulse. And you get over to this knob. This is your argon post flow. I typically run about five to seven seconds. This big knob right here, that's your amperage control. And I'm going to start off welding at about 97 amps. So I can do up to about 100,000 thick material. Okay, now that we've finished with this portion of the machine, here are the three major functions of the machine. Now you'll notice this is set on DC minus. Now while we're on DC minus, we can do steel, stainless steel, ink and L, titanium, and almost all alloys. Now, if we want to do aluminum, merely switch this to AC. Now I can do aluminum and magnesium. Now, you probably notice there's a DC plus and wondering where you would use that. So let's go ahead and put it on DC plus. In many cases, you would use that for stick welding. But right now, I'm going to use it to prep my tungsten for welding aluminum. And the reason for that is this is a transformer machine, and I have a pointed tungsten on here already, which is great for DC welding, but it's not that terribly great for aluminum welding. So I'm going to use DC Plus and show you how to correctly put a ball on the end of your tungsten. You know, two percent thorated tungsten is a good tungsten for welding DC. Now I've got a point on this tungsten. And I'm getting ready to weld on AC or weld aluminum, so I need to have a ball on it. Now, a good way of getting that ball is to turn the machine on DC positive. And when you do that, all you have to do is light an arc, and when you light an arc, it'll ball up automatically. Okay, now that we've got a ball on the end of the tungsten, we can go ahead and weld aluminum. But remember, make sure you reset your machine back to AC. Otherwise, this ball will continue to ball up into your torch. And that was your helpful hint for today's show. Thanks for watching Tick Time. I'm Mr. Tick.